Hello, good friends. We've come to the end of another wonderful worship service at Gathering of Champions Church, and I pray that you would embrace and embody the truth of God's Word, especially as it is expressed across the pulpit of our church. 152 years this church has been standing. For 24, I've shared the gospel of God. I'm so happy to be a part of its great history and its great continuance. There are a few things that I want to say to you in parting from today. Remember, Palm Sunday is the uh, entry, segue Sunday, into what is going to come. Jesus Christ is going to face the cross in a few days. But before then, he is going to celebrate the life, his great life, and the great life of God in uh, humanity. He's going to celebrate it and represent it, if you will. Not just that, I want to say to you that in our push for another grace, another level of appreciation of the grace of God, that we need to pause today and remember that in a few days he will sacrifice his life. So let's celebrate him high today. If you can, ensure that you continue to read and reread the biblical narrative and the account of Jesus' final days. Reread it and give yourself fresh insight and fresh motivation and encouragement. His sacrifice was priceless. It was not painless. It was certainly priceless. But it cost him. It was painful. But thanks be to God for giving it his all and giving us his all. Let me also say to you that as a part of this week, this passion week, as we call it, um, make sure that you are willing to sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to invest? What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to provide? This is passion week, and because it is passion week, we should be also um, embodying the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, whose precious life provides for us a precious future. Lastly, I want to remind our church that there are a number of powerful, positive things happening in the preaching ministry of our church. Normally, we would preach a traditional Palm Sunday narrative, but we didn't do that today. We're plowing through the book of Hebrews. Our goal in 2020 and beyond is to be deeply expositional and to focus less on themes and topics and more on scripture and give rise to themes and topics as they show up in scripture. So, on this coming Wednesday, I will begin to preach uh, from the book of Hebrews again, chapter number uh, 10, for starting at verse number 19. I'll preach the concluding of chapter 10. And on next Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, I'm going to preach Hebrews chapter 11. I'll probably preach Hebrews chapter 11 over the course of one or two settings, maybe a Sunday, a Wednesday, and a Sunday. But in either case, I want you to read. Be prepared. Read the balance of Hebrews 10. Get ready to read Hebrews 11 so that when we come to church on next week, on Wednesday or on Sunday, you're ready to engage in that faithful exposition. <clears throat> I know that in our world, excuse me, I know that in our world, there's always this push for us to preach themes and to preach headlines. That has never been my goal. My goal has always been to preach truth. You can learn more about life and how to handle life, even COVID-19, as we faithfully preach through scripture. And we do a faithful exposition each week, or at least I try to do a faithful exposition every week. This Sunday, uh, today, this coming Wednesday, and next Sunday, um, notwithstanding, we're going to give it our absolute best. We want to share the gospel of God and provide for others exactly what God is providing us. I want to say to you, don't follow the crowd in this. There's some people who surf from their church because I want to hear somebody preaching about COVID-19. Well, listen, I, I don't have anything to preach about COVID-19. I'm going to follow uh, the guidelines from uh, the CDC, the, uh, uh, the shelter-in-place orders by our local, state, and national government, uh, the social distancing guidelines. But beyond that, friends, I want to spend my time preaching the gospel of God. Right? I want to preach the gospel of God. John MacArthur tells a story of a church that across one of the beams had the words written to preach Christ and him crucified. 
it was a huge, huge thing. He said, and over time, there were so many great preachers that came and preached Christ and him crucified. He said, but moss began to grow, and it grew over the word crucified. So the next generation of people that came, they started preaching Christ, preaching Christ. Then the last generation, as that moss grew over Christ, they simply saw we preach. And I want to say this, I want to still preach Christ and Him crucified. It's the fate, most faithful way to preach a faithful exegesis, Christ and Him crucified. All scriptures speak of Christ. All scripture points to Christ. All scripture points to Christ's return. So I want to preach Christ and I want to preach Christ crucified. Lastly, let me remind everybody that's watching um, that I want you to do something. Before I do that, let me say what's up to Kelvin Bryan, I love you so much and praying for you, praying for your niece. Bishop William Tony, I love you, bro. Gazara Mitchell, Jakara Williams, love all y'all, man. Y'all are so amazing and so wonderful. Brandon McRae, you did an excellent job today, BMAC. Jamar Motley, what's up, man? Uh, William Roscoe, Lisa, Travis, missed you. Uh, Nick Hillary, Pastor Nick Hillary, Pastor Sean Williams, all of you. Uh, Elder LaShonda, Chanel, Gilliam Nunnery, I love you and I miss y'all so much. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, Coco, so good to see you. Xavier, blessings on you. Angele, blessings on you. Don, blessings on you. Um, let me say this. Every church needs your support now more than ever before. Ever before. Ah, Keola. God bless you. I love you, Keola. Please forgive me for not seeing you. Keola, blessings on you. I hope you're feeling better, Key. Hope you're feeling better, Elder Nunnery. You are two of my favorite people. I absolutely love seeing you guys. Um, what's up, Twigs? What's up, Francia? Blessings on you. Um, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> um, I need you guys to make sure you're doing one important thing. Um, hey, Sandball. Coco, I love you. Hey, do one important thing. Here it is. Go to your churches giving platforms, whether it's their website, their text to give app, etc. Give to your church. Do not forget. If there is a way for you to sow a seed into the life of your pastor, give your pastor a love offering. Don't forget. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the things that I need you to know is that God is really honored when we honor the covenant and not forget him. Not forget him. What's up, Stevie? I love you, Stevie. Don't forget your church. This is the first of the month. We need people in church to give. We're not begging for money. Don't misunderstand me. We're not begging for money. We're simply saying to you that we're carrying on the mission. Gathering of Champions, we have not stopped doing the ministry to which we're called. We've not stopped reaching for the mission, and we're going forth. COVID-19 has done nothing to stop us. It's not done nothing to stop our vision. Amen. If you have a church, go there. Go to their site. Go to their mobile app. Give to them and do it right now. If you don't, please access Gathering of Champions. You can text Gathering of Champions. Text Champions Give to 77977. Champions Give to 77977. Text GOC to 54244. GOC to 54244. Also, you can give at paypal.me. Paypal.me forward slash um, GCC Marietta. Paypal dot me forward slash gcc mary at a hey ruthie i love you e how you doing dr e blessings on you bishop coleman blessings on you right also you can go to gathering of champions dot org and give there you can also ensure that you give send a message to the church and give i appreciate god for you i love you i'm thankful to god for you i'm celebrating god for your kind generous acts i'm celebrating god for your love do it i thank you well, I want to tell you this last thing in parting. My heart has been impacted in the fact that I can't see the good people of Gathering of Champions. Uh, we're going to have to do a Zoom or something. I at least got to see y'all. But each week, I get to preach to you just like I would without interruption. I can't wait till we fellowship again so that we can shake hands and hug and celebrate life. I mourn together for those of you who've lost family and friends like I have. Um, but be present. I want us to have a communal meal and celebrate in a big way. Soon as this um, quarantine is over, we're going to do it. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm standing with you guys. I'm trusting that God is going to do his work. 